Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman. Today we're going to be talking about the Ryan Sakel Convoy. And we have this board set up as a Bonzer 3. Uh, the Convoy is available in all different fin configurations. You can get it as a thruster, as a quad, and also as a Bonzer, either 3 or 5. Um, this one's set up as a Bonzer 3. So we're going to talk a little bit about the Convoy first, and then we're going to talk about uh, what it's like to ride a Bonzer. So uh, as far as the convoy, I was originally attracted to this shape. Uh, we've had a great time working with Ryan and continuing to work with Ryan on uh, boards that he's been supplying us at Real. Uh, and convoy kind of jumped off his website. And when we were visiting him at Moonlight, um, he actually had one on the rack. And uh, really cool looking board. It had a lot of a Christensen Nautilus in it if you had to like kind of like choose DNA. So it was like, and Nautilus being like one of my favorite boards of all time, um, I definitely wanted to try this thing out. And so it's a little bit different than the Nautilus um, in a few different ways. I would say the biggest ways are, it's got this wing right here leading back into the swallowtail. Uh, Ryan's got his own spin on the swallowtail. He's got like a hard edge right here around the top of the deck. I mean, that's just more of an aesthetic thing than anything else, but it gives it a little bit more aggressive look. It's got the, uh, the wing right here. The other thing that I would say is the, the bigger of the two differences, the convoy compared to the Nautilus is a little bit more down rail overall. So size per size, volume per volume, it, it creates more power under your foot and kind of leads you towards wanting to ride it in smaller volumes versus being able to use it in, in or actually wanting to ride it in bigger volumes, which is like kind of what the Nautilus is. Nautilus is always striving towards like, we're always educating people and like kind of tilt, you know, tending people into going bigger and bigger. And that's because the board is very, very neutral underfoot because there's a lot, there is down rail in the back of the Nautilus, but in the front of the Nautilus up here, there's actually a lot of up rail coming off the bottom of the board that releases a lot of that pressure underneath your feet when, when you start moving at speed. In the convoy, it actually has a lot of down um, and not as much uptick, uptick off of the rail in the board. And so these boards, I think you wanna ride them, you wanna ride them a little bit closer to your shortboard sizing, maybe a little bit more than your shortboard sizing, but you can't go overboard and ride them uh, as big as you want or like just throw caution to the wind and, and ride them super big because the board's gonna feel a little bit overpowering. So this board I originally had gotten uh, for Rincon Point in California, because I've was spent i been spending a lot of time out there in Santa Barbara, and so I thought this would be an awesome board for when Rincon uh, gets big. So I went for a 7.0, which in Nautilus sizing is absolutely no problem at all for my size, which is a little bit over 200 pounds. Um, but after riding it, I definitely wish I'd gone a little bit smaller than the 7.0. I wish I had gone like probably 6.10 or even 6.8, just because of the, the power that it creates and, uh, and just the overall speed and performance of the board. I think it's gonna be better uh, if you size it a little bit smaller than the Nautilus. I would basically say, I would go as a general rule of thumb, I would size it like one, like two inches shorter than your Nautilus if you're used to riding a Nautilus and you like that feel. As far as the performance of the board, like after you've sized it correctly, super easy, wave catcher, really good speed down the line, really good as far as like negating any like ch uh, chop or like kind of surface confusion in the wave and just like a really good all around, not necessarily a mid-length, but like a, it's a performance, it's either a performance mid-length or like a bigger uh, shortboard. And, and Ryan makes these things all the way down like into the upper fives, like 5'8", five, 5'10". Five, uh, but the majority of the boards that we were stocking were like 6'6 six, six to 7'2". And in that size range, just really good momentum and builds momentum, very similar to a Nautilus, and has the ability to just create some really good lines down the line, you know, using all like all different parts of the wave face and carrying the momentum uh, through the ride. So super, super fun board and a lot of uh, kind of tick the boxes in a lot of different conditions from like kind of small kind of grovelly waves up to uh, like well overhead, like kind of powerful surf. All of our convoys that we put in stock at Real, we did as Bonzer 3s. So Bonzers are typically available as either a Bonzer 3, which are the two side Bonzer fins for Bonzer 3 or Bonzer 5, which will have these fins smaller, but then they go further up on the rail and there'll be two on each side. That's the Bonzer 5. These fins are glassed on and then you've got uh, a movable forward and back Bonzer center fin 
Uh, this one right here is a six and a half NVS. We've also have, uh, we've got NVS Bonzer fins and we also have True Ames Bonzer fins. So this one's a six and a half and this is a, uh, a 7.0 by 21 and a half, two and three quarters, 46.76 liters. So the Bonzer, the feedback on the Bonzer is uh, mega drive and mega grip on the wave, especially like high lines and like even above, even above high lines, like, um, like you could literally just get way up on parts of the wave that normally you're just like kind of cruising around, like of barely getting to, like this board is like way up and can actually hold in parts of the wave that you're not used to uh, being on. And a, and a lot of that is just because of the rail line and also because of the grip and the drive of the, uh, of the Bonzer fin. It was really, really neat. The first time I got this board in like head high overhead barreling surf, it was like, it was, it always wanted to get up and stay up and be comfortable like really high up in the wave and it was um a definitely unique feeling compared to the the other fin configurations that i'm used to riding what it didn't like from from uh surfing it in a bunch of different conditions is it definitely didn't like a flat glide um in a flat glide it definitely seemed to slow down a little bit and you could feel the fins dragging a little bit uh, and so it wanted to be on rail or it wanted to be on the steeper parts of the wave not necessarily like out in the flats or gliding like a mid-length wood or or just something that had a little bit more straight line glide to it or straight line trim this thing like like to be if you were trimming it it wanted to be way up high in the wave and uh and it also really liked to be on rail um as far as like bonzer three and bonzer Fin setups, uh, you know, basically these are glassed on, so you're not gonna change these. And then you go to uh, the single fin that kind of balances out the board. Um, you know, upon Ryan's recommendation, I went with a six and a half. Uh, so that's what I have in here from NVS. Uh, and then the other thing that you'll notice on this board is what Ryan calls the Alpha Omega uh, bottom. And that's uh, obviously got some Campbell Brothers in it as well. And uh, this is a, You've got your bottom contours here, which are a double concave in here, but then you also have rail channels going on the outsides of the fin. And all of these things are giving you uh, additional drive, additional drive and additional grip and additional control uh, at speed. So it's the Bonzer 3 Convoy from Ryan Sakel. Uh, again, mine is a 7.0. If you have any questions on the Convoy, or you'd like to place an order for one, either stock or custom, you can always give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000, or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.